was, we had a good day. It got, it got better. But, you know, the first, usually that first one, you think guys are going crazy. But it was, you know, yeah, we'll look at the tape. I probably should say look at the tape first because you, sometimes you look at it and go, that was pretty clean. But uh, I, it just wasn't as crisp as you'd like it to be. Um, but, but it got crisper as we went, that's for sure. The level of experience on both sides of the ball comparatively, I mean, do you, do you anticipate the defense being – further ahead at, at this point of things? You would think so. You would think so, but you never know. I, you know, I was impressed today, and I'll, I'll go back and watch the tape. You know, we had a couple thud periods. We had a couple live periods, but I was impressed with our offense, the way they ran the ball. Um, you know, just doing some you know, some different things, and you know, I think our O-line played good. I know that young part of the O-line, everybody's talking about, oh, gosh, what's going to happen there? But I thought the run game was probably pretty good. Still got some things to clean up in the pass game, but I was impressed with how we ran the ball and what we did offensively, so that was really good to see. So I'd say the offense is ahead in the run, defense ahead in the pass. Just give me that. You said the other day you, you know, it's hard to evaluate the offensive line. What, what did you see from that group today? You know, I thought, like I said, I thought they did a nice job in the run game. I thought the pass game, you know, they still got a work to do. We only did it two minutes at the end, and there was probably more pressure on the quarterback than you'd want. You know, try not to put yourself in a two-minute situation would be the key. Run, you know, it's hard to run the ball in that period. But I, I, like I said, I was impressed with the way we ran the ball, our, our run blocking. We seem to be moving a lot faster where we're going. Feel like you have depth there that maybe if you don't have it necessarily have experience, you have like a lot of guys that could be fits for those three open spots. You're talking on the O line, yeah, yeah. I, I feel like we got some young guys that you know we don't have a lot of experience, we don't have a lot of game reps, but we got some talent there. You know, I really believe we have you know talent with you know Van Lynn and Gabe Hoy and you know Bryce Hargrove. I mean, you know, I'm gonna miss you know. Um, I'm going to miss a lot of guys over there, but, you know, there's a lot of guys that, that have opportunities to make plays. Wilkes are pretty much remains, like, you know, the wild card for that group, right? He's a guy who can go anywhere and has, basically. Yeah, he's, he's wherever he can go. He can, he can probably play them all. So, try not, you know, try not to make a play all, but, you know, we got a plan of who we know is coming in and what we'll do, and we'll figure that out. What have you seen from Dwayne Hendricks so far this spring? Dwayne's had a great, he's had a great spring so far, three days, first day in pads, but, you know, him and James Folson, the one thing I've noticed the last couple of days is just to get off. Folson used to be the slowest guy off the ball. We already know he's he's fast, maybe one of the faster guys, but Folson is getting off the ball. His get off is much better than it used to be. Um, and Dwayne has been the same way. They've both been, you know, not I'm surprised, but uh, I'm very pleased with what we see there. Good to see George out there hitting some people. And just how much of a difference does having a guy like that make for your offense? Well, George is, is the energy. Uh, he's the energy bus. Uh, and, you know, besides being a good football player and, and all those things and being tough, uh, I think he brings guys together. So having him in that huddle, there's a lot of things we can do offensively. He's a difference maker. So on Twitter, you guys had Maurice Claret speak to the team yesterday. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. What was that like? Um, you know, we got a thing called, you know, developing Pittman, you know, just kind of a, a series of bringing different speakers in every week, you know, just to talk to him. But, uh, you know, he's a guy that went through some struggles and just, you know, it's part of life. And, you know, um, you know, one major thing he talked about was really just that, you know, that I think the kids came away taking was, you know, trust the people around you. You know, back when he was at Ohio State and won a national championship, he really didn't embrace the people that were trying to help him and pull him in the right direction. And uh, so I think that was really the biggest message we got from him is, hey, trust the people around you. We're here to help you, not to help you. Plus, I guess, between you and Heather at Youngstown, Ohio guys, always right. welcome here, huh? No doubt about it. No doubt about it. You know, we'll bring, we brought a guy in from Texas a year ago, the coffee bean. So we're always going to bring different guys in. It was, he, was, he, was, he was incredible. He was really good.